Hello students, today we will be going over H2.3, multiplying matrices. Our objective, I can perform operations on matrices of appropriate dimensions. Now, this is page H32. It says two matrices can be multiplied if and only if the numbers of elements in the columns of the first matrix, so columns, of the first matrix is equal to the number of elements in the rows of the second matrix. So we have dimensions A, which is a 3 by 2, and we have dimensions B, which is a 2 by 2. Now we want to match these two numbers up so the column of the first matrix, because it's row by column, and the row of the second matrix. So what's left on the outside is the resultant matrix should be a 3 by 2. Okay, so we will do some examples of that now. Okay, let's go on to the next part. Okay, so number one, A is a 3 by 4, and B is a 4 by 2. Can the matrices be multiplied? Well, we need to see, do these two match up? Yep, they're both 4s, so yes. And we want to put our product dimensions right there. It's going to be what's on the outside, 3 by 2. Okay, we go on to number 2. Can these two matrices be multiplied? A is a 3 by 2 and B is a 4 by 3. Do the 2 and the 4 match? No. So you put no. And what do you put as a solution there? Product dimensions? Undefined. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and do an example now. Okay, this is getting to be a little bit tricky when you actually multiply them together. Okay. So when you multiply A, B, C, D with E, F, G, H, you don't just go A times E and get your answer. You have to go A, E, plus BG. So across and down, and that'll be our first number in the top left. Then we go CE plus DG. And that's going to be our second one down here. Our third one over here goes AF plus BH. Multiply first and then add those together. And then our last one will go CF plus D, H, and we'll get that one there. So here's our example. I tried to do it with various numbers. Now, um, we're going to go ahead and go 3 times negative 2. So our first part, we go this number times that one. 3 times negative 2. And I'm going to try and do this color, <coughs> color coordinated. Gage Anderson, your ride is here in the back of the building, Gage Anderson. Please head to the back of the school to get your ride. So three times negative two plus two times zero. Okay, then our next one is going to go negative one. Let's see. Whoops, I think this should be a negative one right here. I made a mistake on there. So 3 times negative 2 times 2 times 0. Then we go negative 1 times negative 2. Plus 0 times 0. And that's our bottom one. 
Now the next one to the upper right is going to be 3 times 1. plus 2 times negative 1. Then we say our last one, negative 1 times 1, plus 0 times negative 1. So this is a 2 by 2 multiplied with a 2 by 2. So our answer should also be a 2 by 2. So if we multiply this times this, again, we have to make sure these two match up. And then our solution will be in a 2 by 2. So we've done most of this work. Now we're going to say, OK, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 plus 0. And this will be 2 plus 0. Then we get 3 plus negative 2 and negative 1 plus 0. Okay, so our final answer over here is going to be negative 6, 2, 1, and negative 1. Okay, all right. Now we're going to go ahead and do SR. So this is R times S. Now we're going to do S times R. Now, S times R will probably be different than R times S because multiplication of matrices is not commutative. In other words, 3 times 5 is not going to be the same. And I will show you here. So we start here, and we go uh, for our first number, negative 2 times 3 plus 1 times 2. So I took them both from this one. This one goes across. This goes down. Okay. Then I'm going to go across down here, down with the first row. So again... <laughs> We're going to go 0 times 3 plus negative 1 times negative 1. Hopefully you're seeing that okay. There we go. All right. So 0 times 3, and that's going to be times negative 1, okay? So again, you go the first row, first column, second row, first column. Now we're going to go first row, second column, and I'm just going to do all those one color. It's too hard to do two colors, plus 1 times 0. So first row, second column. Now we do second row, second column. 0 times 2 plus negative 1 times 0. Okay. So again, first row times first column. Second row times first column. That's these two. First row, second column. That's this one. Second row, second column, that's this. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and add those together and get our final answer. This is negative 6 plus negative 1. That gives me negative 7. Then this is 0, and that is 1. It's 1. This one, negative 4 plus 0. And then we go 0 plus 0. Okay. So if you look at this one, this one is SR. Oops. Do you remember what RS was? And does, does it match? Okay. 
I'm going to have to find a better place for that. Okay, so we have that. And if you go back to RS, negative 6, 2, 1, negative 1, that doesn't match SR. Okay, so just know that you're going to get two different answers when you do RS as if you do SR. Okay, students, you can do the rest. You rock.